How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode. There's Bear Gills out there chilling. We have been feeding them. I haven't been home in two days, but my dad bought these guys right here. He started off feeding them frozen bloodworms and not only has Bear Gills been, been attacking them, that tiny little bluegill I caught in the trap, like the one that's not even an inch, you can't see him right now. He's, he's in there. Not that you guys can see on the camera because I can barely see in person, but a little bluegill's chilling on the log. We're not going to do anything with them today. Feeding them bloodworms is not exactly interesting or exciting. So we are going to do a little bit of bass fishing. Now, I've been so busy doing a bunch of other stuff. I haven't largey fished in quite a while, and I haven't pond fished in a while. I, like That micro fishing for the bluegills in the ponds, that doesn't really count. I'm talking about some good old-fashioned grassroot pond bass fishing. So it's, it's midday right now. It's two o'clock, it's really hot too, really sunny. Not the best conditions for the lure that I'm gonna be throwing, but we're still gonna send her anyway. This is what I'm gonna try to be catching fish on today, primarily. Now this lure right here is basically a homemade whopper plopper. It's big, it's got a metal cupped blade, it has a way different noise. I've already caught some great fish on it, lost a big smallie on the Wisconsin River on it, lost a muskie on it two days ago. My Would have been my first ever solo muskie, I'll add that in right here. Didn't catch it, that really killed me, but here's that miss. There it is. It's a ski. No! Now this is technically a musky bait. It's, it's a small version of a musky bait, but bass absolutely love this thing. Every time I've gone fishing with it, I've always caught a big bass with it. So although that sample size is small, because I've gone fishing with this three times now, caught a five pound smallie on it twice. I lost the second one I hooked, and then the third time I used it, I lost a giant musky on it. Had another couple smallmouth hit it and caught those. But yeah, I'm kind of rambling at this point. Let me get to the pond and show you guys this awesome lure. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks and sounds in the water, but first, obviously the goal is catching fish, so I'm gonna take a couple casts here, and then I'll walk down and show you guys the action. Because if I were to walk down right now, then I'd just spook everything. There's one, it's a big bass. Huge bass. Came all the way out of the water for it. Oh, come on, please stay hooked. This is a huge bass. Oh, wow, I was not expecting that. That got my heart all the way up in my chest. Come on, come on, baby. Come on. Oh my God, it's a giant. It's a giant. Baby, middle of the day giant. Middle of the day freaking giant. Oh my, that is the biggest bass I've caught all summer. <laughs> I've been here for five minutes, guys. Five minutes. Oh, that's amazing. Look at the belly. It's September. You are not supposed to be this fat. All right, I need to find a way to hold this fish in the water and then get my tripod set up. Lee, your water chopper is my new lucky favorite bait. Every time I've used it, I've caught a huge fish on it. I don't know what about that bait gets him so fired up. It's his homemade water chopper. That's what it's called. I'll link it down below if you guys want to buy one. I think his, web his website's leelures.com. Amazing custom water choppers. All right, I'm going to get this tripod set up. All right, l look at the situation I got going on right now, guys. I was not prepared to catch a big bass. So I've got this dude chilling in the water. He's fine. I'm trying to put my camera together, the tripod there. I lost the piece, so this is all you guys are gonna get. It's an awesome fish. Five minutes into the day, middle of the day, on a top water, the biggest largemouth I think I've caught all summer. He's a beautiful fish. Let's watch him go swim away. There he goes. Yep, that's a weed. You can't swim through that. Whew. You guys can tell I'm shaking right now a little bit. That is the biggest bass I've caught all summer. That fish swimming away really well is 10 times more important than getting a good picture or anything like that, good documentation of the fish. That's a big fish, water temp's hot, it's hot out. I, made a sh I wanted to make sure he swam off okay. This guy, if I wouldn't have lost this stupid piece, you guys would have gotten a much better angle at that fish. But in a tiny little Illinois pond, 
middle of September on Lee's water chopper. This was five minutes into the day, guys. Five minutes. I'm stoked, let's go catch more. Catching a big bass never gets old, especially on a big lure like that. Now that I'm a little more calm, cool, and collected, I wanna show you guys what this thing looks like in the water, the sound it makes, because it's an incredibly unique bait. And I really think more than anything else, it just pisses off big fish that are really territorial. I mean, that bass shot at least a foot out of the water to destroy this big topwater bait. I mean, it was a crazy strike. Unfortunately, it was so far out that you probably, I'm gonna guess you're not gonna be able to see much of anything on the GoPro, but here's what the bait sounds and looks like. Now the way this bait is designed, that metal cup on the back of it, camera's not focusing of course, but that metal cup, that really sharp angle, the same thing with the whopper plopper, that's what makes that really loud popping sound. So that just gives you guys a better idea. This is just honestly a bigger, louder, better running whopper plopper. I love this bait. I'm gonna get back to fishing it, maybe get one bigger. I thought these would be horrible topwater conditions, but I, I guess the fact that it's been so warm for so long here, it's really got the fish fired up because we in Chicago, we've had such a cold summer and it's been 80, decently humid, like really warm the last couple days, really warm nights too. So in tiny little ponds like this, I bet it's just skyrocketed that water temperature and they, obviously that fish is eating well. That thing was really fat. There's one, another one. I don't think this one's as big. It's still a nice fish. It's gotta be a good sized fish to eat this thing. Or maybe not. Proof, little guys will eat this thing just as well. Look at that. Little pond bass with a big appetite. Insane. Do not shy away from using the big baits, guys. And the craziest thing too is this is the only part of this pond that I can fish with this bait. The rest of it is like a foot deep in just nasty weeds. I mean, I'm not even gonna have too much more time here because once I fish this spot right here where I'm standing, there's really nowhere else to go in the pond. There's one, another nice one. Yes, see they're all the way out. I guess I gotta ski them in. Stay packed, baby. I am just winching this thing. I wish I would've given you a little more of a fight because you are a big bass. Okay, you know what? I take back that comment. Not really a big bass, a very respectable bass for the ponds of Illinois. Still another one that's not really that much bigger than the bait. Thank you, girl. Perfect 10. I had to throw them out a little bit because this is all inches of mud. Well, that is three fish landed from this one spot. Who was calling me? I have just churned up this little section to death. We're gonna we're gonna switch ponds. Did you bring a rod? I, I got a rod. We're gonna we're gonna go recon in some other ponds. Try to piss off some more really big bass into hitting this big water chopper. It's funny, I just told my friend Lee, he's the guy that makes this, Lee. I told my friend Lee that I caught a big one on this and I was filming a video on it. And he was super stoked. This is not like a plastic mold that he makes a lot of. This is a hand carved wood bait that he makes every single one by hand. All right, I'm walking to this next pond right now. I have never fished it before. I saw it on Google Maps. Looked decent and I've never been to it before, but wow, it's a really tiny pond. Very tiny pond. I'm gonna go over here so I'm not staring into the sun and squinting even more than I typically am. All right, you know what? Just as quickly as I'm arriving, I'm leaving. I do not have a good feeling about this pond at all. It's super shallow. I don't see anything moving, like no fish period in the water. So I'm gonna chalk this one up to, there's no fish in this pond. That's the thing with pond hopping, 90% of the ponds you go to are gonna be pretty trash. But those 10% that you do go to that are good, make it all worth it. All right, third pond now. Sun's getting so low and it's 5.30. It is fall now. That's scary. Ice fishing is coming very, very soon. This is a much bigger pond. 
Hopefully I can catch a lot more here. I really haven't been fishing all that much either because the first pond, I could only fish in that one spot. Second pond was too shallow to fish. So this one hopefully will give me a much better chance of putting a lot of fish. I was gonna say put a lot of fish in the boat, but yeah, then I remembered not in a boat. There's one. All right, second cast, the new pond. God, they love this topwater bait so much. Score all of them hit it. Wow, this guy is stunted. There needs to be some more food in this pond. Big head, little body. Sorry, bud, I don't know what you thought this big plopper was, but I'm sorry that it's not a real meal. Again, that is pretty big bait for that fish. God, I almost feel bad for not giving this guy some real food. He is skinny. He is not like the big bass we caught. Bye, buddy. Go eat some real food. Seeing the size of that fish, that tells me probably not gonna catch a big trophy in here, like a five, six pounder, but hey, I'll take a lot of twos and threes. I am not too proud to catch a lot of two and three pounders. There's one. All right. Wow, this one is like the same exact type of fish. They all get hooked the same way too. Ow. Front hook in the mouth, back hook somewhere on their back. Wow, this pond is not healthy. Look at how skinny that bass is. Look at this thing. Not good. Not good at all. Such a difference in the body composition of these fish compared to the first pond. There's zero word that portrays my excitement for taking this thing down to Texas this fall. I'm hopefully gonna catch some huge bass. Now when I say giant bass, huge bass, and these are five, six pounders, and you guys are scratching your heads going, well, that's not a giant bass. It's all relative. In little ponds and suburbs of Chicago, a five, six pounder is a giant bass. In Illinois in general, that's a pretty giant bass. They don't really get much bigger than six or seven pounds. So when I can take this thing down to Tejas where there's a chance at a double digit, ooh, oh, I'm excited. They would so kill this thing. I mean, look at that. It's just too juicy. Boop, 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 boop. Obviously, the muskies didn't like that. But... Did you see any? Uh, I caught a, about a 41 inch here on a flap. There's one. Like the first five minutes. There's one. Uh, one sec, Lee. I'm fighting a fish. All right. Finally got another one. I haven't had any action since I left the other side of the pond. Let's see if this guy is also anorexic. a little better not by much it's it's at least got a little bit of meat on them the other ones were very skinny all right maybe these fish just like being on the ends of the ponds because the first two fish i caught were on the other end i fished the whole middle which is like I, you guys can see this is inches of mud now i'm getting to the other end and i caught another one i'm actually talking with lee on the phone right now telling him that i'm smoking him on his water chopper lee do you have words are you surprised because this is a musky bait right it's a big fish bait, that's what it is, a big fish bait. That's awesome, Chris. Well, I've been catching a bunch of small pond bass, but I did catch one big one. Usually the biggest fish you can catch on it is fishing it as, as slow as possible. Yeah, that's how I got the big one. All right, I will, uh, I'm gonna get back to fishing, Lee. I'll let you know how many more I catch. All right, sounds good. Good luck, man. Adios. All right, bye. Sweet. Lee was very excited because Lee and Robbie, they're, like I said, this is a musky lure, but it's just the smaller size, so it's perfect for bass. I mean, I'm catching so many smaller pond bass on it. This is becoming my little lucky lure. Lee's been making this lure for 14 years now, so like a decade at least before the, the Whopper Plopper came out. The Whopper Plopper, if you guys didn't know that, the Whopper Plopper was like a copy off of a bunch of different musky baits that really had this cup tail. So the Whopper Plopper was nothing new or revolutionary. They just brought it to the bass fishing world. Alrighty, unfortunately that is going to be it for this episode of throwing the giant water chopper. 
Honestly, I caught a lot more fish on this bait and bigger fish than I was expecting. I knew this bait catches fish of all sizes, especially big fish. I just didn't expect the bite to be that good. Midday, sun's high, very little wind, hot. Typically not the best top water conditions, but they were all over this guy today. I'll leave the link down below if you wanna check out these baits and Lee's website for yourself. He didn't pay me at all to do this. He was just a good friend, makes these baits. I love him wanted to film a video about them so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i hope you got some motivation to get out there and throw some big baits especially now that it's fall top water time before you know it the ice is going to be on the water it's going to be ice fishing season up here in the north i'm excited for that but also not excited because this stretch of hot days has been it's been nice it's been very nice i'm going to sign out of here and go eat some tacos i'll catch you guys in the next episode peace